Hello folks, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to play Eddie Cochran's fantastic song Summertime Blues. It's quite an easy song to play, chord-wise that is. There are just three chords in it actually, and they are E, A, and B7. You can find this song, together with 49 other rock and roll songs, in my rock and roll songbook. 50 from the 50s. Play 50 rock and roll songs with just four easy open chords. It's on page 89. So this is just a chord song book. There's no tablature in it, so the lyrics and the chords above the lyrics. I know a lot of you have already bought this song book already, so if you have, get it out and get it open at page 89 for Summertime Blues. Eddie Cochran's record starts off with a prominent bass guitar riff that sounds like this, if you imagine this is a bass guitar. And that's followed by an acoustic guitar rhythm riff, like this. So let's assume you haven't got a bass guitarist to play along with you. What should you do, what could you do, in place of that bass guitar opening riff? Well, here's what I sometimes do. That. So what am I doing? I'm putting my first finger on the second fret of the fifth and fourth string and playing the open sixth string. So if you think about it, those are the bottom three notes, the bass notes of an open E chord. I'm also palm damping, so I'm putting the fleshy part of my hand over the bridge to deaden the strings and make that plucky kind of sound. I'm playing with entirely down strokes of my pick. Sometimes I have my first finger on the first fret and then move it back up to the second fret. I have my first finger on the first fret on beats one and three in the bar, like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and... So there are just two bars of this riff. Here's what it sounds like played at full speed again. If you don't want to play that riff, if that's a bit fiddly for you, you can get by with just this. So I was just strumming up and down on the bottom strings, the bass strings of the chord. I was playing it a little bit closer to the bridge. I like that kind of sharper sound it gives you. I'm just going down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And I'm hitting the strings a little bit harder on beats two and four, the back beat. So there are just two bars of that. And the rhythm riff. Okay, so let's have a closer look at that rhythm riff, shall we? As you've probably already noticed, you change from E to A, and then from B7 to E, like this. E, 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 A, B, 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 E. When I say B, I mean B7, of course. Uh, the strumming starts on an up strum on the and in between beats one and two in the bar, like this. One and two and three and four and one. And two and three and four and one. And two and three and four and... So that's the riff. It's just two bars long, but at the beginning of the song you play the riff twice, so two lots of two bars, and you do that in between the verses as well. So you strum up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, like this. One, two, three, four, one. Up, down, up, down. 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 Like that. Here it is at full speed again. Ah, you may have noticed that I'm not just strumming the chords there, am I? I'm playing some percussive strums like this. Like that. So what am I doing? Well, here I'm laying my third finger 
and my little finger down over the strings, just touching them, not holding them down onto the fretboard, to make that clicky, percussive sound. If you haven't got a percussionist playing along with you, it fills the gaps nicely in between those strums. Percussive strums are up, down, up, down as well. Up, down, 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 up, down. I appreciate that that's a bit tricky. You have to move your fingers around pretty quickly. So if you can't manage that, it still sounds pretty good without it. I think on the record, Eddie Cochran doesn't do that because there's a percussionist and a bass player playing anyway. Okay, so if you do it without the percussion, you have to make sure that you uh, stop the A chord from ringing out when you change to it. So put your hand over the strings, or here. And the same when you change from the B7 to the E. Okay, so there's the rhythm riff. The song starts with that bass riff then, or that bass impersonation riff, and then we have two of the rhythm riffs, and then we're into the first verse. So let's see how that sounds, shall we? And then you're into the first verse. So what do I play behind the singing? on the verses. Well, on the record, Eddie Cochran doesn't play anything. There's a live uh, bit of footage of Eddie Cochran playing this live that you can see, where he does <laughs> percussive strums, but I think on the record he's probably not playing anything, it's just percussion. But if you're just playing by yourself, and you do that, it's lacking something, it needs some notes. So, what I do is this. I'm a corner is a first, and a corner is a harder. play that same thing that we played as an intro to the song and then after the first line and the second lines of the verses there's the rhythm riff played once Okay, so after we've played the first two lines and we've done the uh, second of the rhythm riffs, we change chord to A. I'm just strumming up and down on that A chord, hitting the strings a little bit harder on the uh, backbeat. Every time I call my baby, try to get a date, my boss says, No, dad, son, you gotta work a late. So when I hit that E chord, stop it dead, stop it from ringing out. And then before I move to the next A chord, I play a little rhythm fill, percussive fill, I think Andy Cochran does that, uh, that leads into the A chord. This is what I mean. Every time I call my baby, try to do the day, my boss says, no dice, and you gotta work a late. Sometimes I wonder what I'm gonna do, but there ain't no cure for the summertime blues. Then we have the uh, bass riff and two of the rhythm riffs. So I'll demonstrate a whole verse now, played without uh, stopping. I've just more or less sung the first verse, so I'll sing the second verse. Oh, well, my mama and papa told me, said you gotta make some money. If you wanna use the car to go around next Sunday. Oh, well, I didn't go to work, told my boss I was sick. Use the car, cause you didn't work a leg. Sometimes I wonder what I'm gonna do But there ain't no cure for the summertime blues And then you 
have the third and final verse. Okay, so now I'm going to play the whole song so that you can play along with me. I'll give you a count too. One, two, one, two, three, four. Summertime Blues. I hope that was useful. If you have any queries, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.